Hi everyone, welcome to Movie World. I'm Robert Waldman. Well, we're going on a trip down memory lane, and I do mean a trip. If you like cars, and if you want to see some great young actors start honing their craft, I think you're going to enjoy 1973's American Graffiti. This movie is one of a kind, and it was written and directed by George Lucas, who a few years later, a few short years later, will go on to fame and, and acclaim great success in the Star Wars series. Actually, it's interesting to note that one of the co-producers of this movie, American Graffiti, teamed up with George Lucas to make Star Wars. That's Gary Kurtz. The other producer, a little unknown producer at that time, a fellow named Francis Ford Coppola, who would take the world by storm by presenting to us The Godfather. What a classic. And I have to tell you that this movie, American Graffiti, is also a classic. It's really all about a coming-of-age tale of high school kids in California. They're about to graduate, and some of the guys decide they want to go off to college. Some don't. But what a wonderful cast. A young Richard Dreyfus, who's really the first build star of this movie, stars as Kurt. He's all gung-ho about going to college. And then you have Ron Howard. Remember him? He was internationally famous in two TV series. One earlier on as Opie in the Andy Griffith story, The Andy Griffith Show, and then a little bit later on, after 1973, in Happy Days as Richie Cunningham. But you could just see how good these young actors are, and still are to this day. The movie also features Paul Lamott, Cindy Williams, Candy Clark, and a host of others, including a then very young Harrison Ford, who again would team up with, naturally, uh, George Lucas for Star Wars as Han Solo. And also, it's got an iconic scene involving a 19, I guess, 57 T-Bird convertible, a two-seater, with Suzanne Somers. The movie is mainly set in a bunch of vintage cars, as these young guys and girls try to get to know each other while cruising the streets of Los Angeles and California. It's a wonderful trip made even more memorable by great tunes from the 1960s and a really classic vintage soundtrack. Good coming of age story. Forgot to also mention that Charlie Martin Smith is also very funny as a nerd who's part of the group. These guys who are thinking of leaving their hometown and going off to do bigger and better things. Well, I have to tell you, virtually all the members of this cast did go on to bigger and better things and became qualified, really Oscar caliber actors. The movie is sensational with that great music and those beautiful vintage cars. It really is a great time capsule of what life was like in 1962 California, which I think could be descriptive of really all across the United States during that era. On a scale of 1 to 10, I gotta give American Graffiti, I gotta give it an honorable 7. It's a good movie worth seeing, especially if you haven't seen it yet. Robert Wallman from Movie World, thanks for watching and hope to see you again.